What's up everybody, Toby's Guy here. We have a great Raw in store. We're gonna do this normal universe mode style. No editing, no cheap tricks, nothing. We have Edge and Christian versus Damian Nash and Triple H. We really should think of a name for them. Uh, but they're gonna be at a two on three handicap match. And then our main event of the evening is the WWE Champion and the Tag Team Champions are going to team up in a tag match against Mankind, The Rock, and The Big Show. And the way that it's going to work is that we still have to vote. You guys could vote now on TonyPizzaGuy.com. Link is in the description, but vote for all the Cyber Sunday matches you want to see. But the way that's going to work is you vote for one of the guys, whoever wins on that vote. We'll go up against John Cena. And then the other two will team up and go up against the Usos at the pay-per-view Cyber Sunday. If you do want to make a Cyber Sunday arena, if you want to enter to win the arena contest that we have going on, where you can win 1,600 Microsoft points, all you have to do is make an arena. You can call it Cyber Sunday. Um, if you use the keyword TPGCS, I'm going to look for it. But if you didn't, if you just use Cyber Sunday, whatever, we'll leave it at that. But let's get into the first contest. Edge and Christian for Damian Sandow, Kevin Ash, and Triple H, handicap match. Let's see if I can do some different rules here. Um, boom, boom, boom. Elimination off. Falls kind of anywhere. Let's make it no DQ. Undo elimination. Falls kind of anywhere. Falls kind of anywhere will do. Rope break on. Um, can we change the ring type? No, we cannot. Entrance off. Pin and give up on. Knockout? Do we want to knock out on? We'll leave it like this. False can anywhere. We don't really want to do elimination style because it'll be way too much. Ring out no count. Time limit none. Alright, we're ready. Boom! Let's start this match. I'm excited for this. Edge and Christian teaming up against Vince Russo's group. I still need a name for him. But again... You guys vote, and whoever wins this voting contest, the way this voting works, is that Vince Russo's group, they hold the briefcase. Now, Edge had the briefcase. Um, it was stolen by Kevin Nash, and it's been decided that whichever guy you vote for will go up against Edge in a ladder match for that briefcase. Now, the whole motive behind Vince Russo's group stealing the briefcase from Edge is that they want to get Cody Rhodes back into the WWE and they think this is the best way to do it because quite frankly whoever signs that contract that's the way it works whoever signs a contract is the one who is allowed to fight for the title now it clearly states in that Fader Fortune briefcase that you do not you know, you don't have to be employed in the WWE. It is not a stipulation in there that says you have to be an employee of the WWE to get in there. So, that is their motive. If they can do it, we will see come Cyber Sunday. But, Kevin Nash is the one that jumped edge from the back, stole the briefcase. But now we have this match. You know, Christian trying to get a little retribution went up against Triple H and defeated him. But we will have to see where this is going to lead us. Edge and Christian finally getting some television time. Here comes Kevin Nash coming back in. He's coming in. Edge and Nash are going to go at it. But I'm excited for Cyber Sunday. There's a lot of good things that is going to happen. Now we have the stipulation for the match at Cyber Sunday. The main event, we don't know what that's going to be. You guys still have to vote on that. Um, I haven't really looked into it too much. But I do know that we will probably kick off the show with the tag team title match. So we can figure out what our main event is going to be. If we get our tag team title match out of the way, we'll know what our main event is going to be. And then also... We do have Bret Hart and we do have CM Punk. They're going to be in a contest as well with the stipulation determined by you guys for the internet 
Championship. Speaking more on that, we will have more going on SmackDown on Wednesday when we get over to SmackDown. We'll have more going on there with that Internet Championship and Bret Hart and CM Punk. That will definitely be taking place. But for now, we're going to determine our two other epic main events. The big thing is that we have this ladder match. The ladder match for the briefcase is going to be a main event in itself. Because whoever holds that briefcase has a world title shot. Edge with an elbow to the head. And here we go. Cable clutch. Big thing about that briefcase that I don't know if I mentioned that fate or fortune world title briefcase. That is good for up to a year. So you have an entire year to use that. We'll have to see what is going to go down and what is going to happen. All at Cyber Sunday. I'm excited for Cyber Sunday. Honestly, honestly, I am really super excited for Cyber Sunday. I cannot wait for the Cyber Sunday. It is going to be awesome. Neckbreaker by Damian Sandow. Sandow getting Triple H in here. Triple H wants a piece. He is the one that took Edge out. Hit him with the sledgehammer. Pushed him off the ladder and put him on a stretcher. And knocked him off the stretcher. So Edge wants that. Right, here we go. Goes mine. Does Edge. Down goes Triple H. Two big tag matches on Raw. This is a Raw tag for it all. Oh, and a DDT by Triple H. Triple H with that sickening DDT onto Edge. This really is, it, it really is, like, Edge is the biggest underdog right now going up against Vince Russo's group. Again, this is this is sort of like a collaborative effort of Triple H, Damian Sandow, and Kevin Nash alongside with the, the mastermind, the brain work of Vince Russo. That's what it's really all about. It's all about the brain work of Vince Russo. He thinks of these ideas. He thinks of, you know what? Cody Rhodes is fired, but if we get that briefcase, if we get it, technically we can get Cody Rhodes back into the WWE. Will it happen? I don't know. Some of you are upset with Cody Rhodes being gone. Some of you are happy with Cody Rhodes being gone. But really... It really has changed the landscape of this whole entire universe mode. It really, it's really a lot different. When you did the Fader Fortune, you figured out what was going to happen. We knew someone was going to get fired. Kevin Nash gave up his briefcase to Cody Rhodes so Cody Rhodes could hopefully win a... Oh, here we go. Figure four by Triple H. Um, Cody Rhodes could hopefully get a briefcase for the world title. Turns out... No, that wasn't the case. Cody Rhodes got the fired briefcase. Cody Rhodes was fired. And now they beat Kevin Nash. Or Kevin Nash didn't beat Kevin Nash. Well, yeah, Kevin Nash beat up Edge is what I'm trying to say. He beat up Edge backstage, took him down, and now we are where we're at now. It was said, you know what? Edge needs a chance to get that briefcase back. We will let it happen. At Cyber Sunday in a ladder match determined by the fans on who's going to go up against Edge. Really, it is all about the title. That world title is what makes the group succeed and make them thrive like they do. How long are they going to be able to thrive? Only time will tell. But we do have Triple H. Damian Sandow and Kevin Nash, those three men, want to get Cody Rhodes back. Their big friend back into the WWE. That's what they all want. Now it's this handicap match. Oh, here we go. Headlock. And a snapmare. Elbow to the back of the head of Triple H. Oh, and a punch. Another punch. And a slap to the face. Triple H was out on his feet. But a pedigree. No. Reversal by Christian. Oh, what's Christian going to do here? 
Oh, uh, reversal by Triple H. Triple H going to drop him down with a suplex. A big suplex by Triple H. And Triple H tagging in his friend, Nash. But Cody Rose knocks Davey and Sando out, but Christian back in here. Big Daddy Cool looking for something. Going to the outside. We know this is no disqualification. False count anywhere. So we'll have to see what happens here. Punched by Christian. And a Hurricane Rana on to Kevin Nash. Triple H with the Irish whip trying to get things back into the ring. See if Nash is going to come back. Yes. Oh, and Triple H brings the rope down. Sending Christian to the outside. Triple H, what's he doing? Throwing Christian into the barricade. Oh, and a headbutt. Sending Christian down. DDT by Triple H. Triple H. Oh, he gets... Can't see because Damian Sandow's in the way. Get out of the way, Damian Sandow. All right, Triple H throws Christian into the barricade. And Nash with a headbutt. Edge throws Triple H back in the ring. Christian's back in the ring. Looks like Nash is coming back in too. Nash. Oh, Edge is throwing it back in. Edge throws Nash back in the ring. So we have a little bit of order back into this match. Christian and Nash are back in there. And a neck breaker by Christian. Christian with a kick to Nash's face. Again, there is a lot at stake here. Oh, uh, takedown. Christian looking for a... Yes, it's a tag. Oh, and a kick by Edge. Big back body drop by Kevin Nash, the seven-footer. Nash looking for a camel clutch, trying to make him submit. Cause as much damage as he can here. Remember, there is no rope break in this one. And he takes him down. Edge looking for the spear, maybe. No, Edge looking for it. Execution. What's Edge going to do here? Edge looking for it. What has Edge got here? Oh, and he flapjacks Kevin Nash down. The busted bloody Kevin Nash going for the pin. One. One count on the big sexy Kevin Nash. The giant killer Nash. Oh, he has it for Jackknife. Jackknife, he's down. And this looks like all oh, but Edge. Edge is not happy with his comeback. Yes, Edge is coming back. Oh, another close on Ed. Takes down Nash. Oh, this is going to be it. He's going to pin him. It's going to be over right here. One. No, one count. Not enough. Edge looking for it again. Oh, here we go. That's got to be it. Christian is happy. Edge is going to get the win. One. No, 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 no. Only a one count. Looks like he pulled it off himself. Looks like he wants to get Christian in here. Reversal by Nash. And Nash holding his head is going to tag out. But Christian is the fresh man in. Nash goes to the outside to bide some time. Christian follows him. Not a wise move if it's me. Oh, but there you go. He's back in the ring. Nash is bloody. Oh, a Triple H goes flying and Nash is back in the ring. Oh, Christian's in the corner. It's in a bad way. Nash is on the outside. Nash going for the announce table. Oh, but Damian Sandow setting to the barricade. Headbutt. And a kick to Christian. Christian on pretty on the outside. Kill switch. On to the outside, Nash. Christian. One, two, three. Oh, is that it? That was it. Christian able to secure the victory over Kevin Nash. Oh, my. Edge and Christian won the handicap match. Just a better tag team in here. That's what it really is all about. Edge and Christian are your winners.
Oh, Kevin Nash is in a bad way. There we go. That was awesome. That was great. I loved it. Christian hit the unprettier in the outside. I set it up for false count anywhere. And it was. It was. All right. So we are getting into our main event now. And our main event is this huge tag match. Again, we have the tag team champions teaming up with the WWE champion. Going against Mankind, The Rock, of the Big Show. Vote now at TonyBeatsGuy.com. Your vote will decide, will it be Mankind, will it be The Rock, or will it be The Big Show in the main event at Cyber Sunday against John Cena. Let's see what kind of rules we can do here. Elimination style? I don't think so. We can do no count out. Rope break on DQ. Oh, uh, no DQ. We won't make this one false count anywhere. But, why would we make over the top rope? Oh, you can't even edit it. I was like, why would you do that? We'll put this one. Really, a last man standing three-way tag match? I don't know, that would be weird. That would be weird. What kind of rules do we want to do? Anything? I like to do fun rules for this. Put knockout on just for the hell of it. Um, and we'll see where this one goes. Momentum bar is going to be fast. We'll put knockout on. Um, I'm going to make this one a quick match. See what happens with this one. Quick rules. Entrance off. We're going to see where this one goes. Boom. John Cena and the Usos versus Mankind, The Rock, and The Big show oh uh, we might have a little bit of freeze here looks like the game might have froze if it froze I'll be very upset but we're gonna wait we're gonna wait it out I think this happened last time I did a six-man tag match I'm not too sure but we will have to wait and see where this one goes please work game please work please work uh what the heck? What's the deal here? Is this going? Is it not going? What is going on here? Oh, come on. Come on, game. It looks like it's finally going. I don't know what the deal was on that, but... Finally, we're going to get going on here. The Usos at John Cena versus Mankind, The Rock, and The Big Show. Boom, here we go. We're going to get into this contest. Foley and John Cena going at it. First in this match, it is going to be interesting because one of these men is going to be going for the world title and the other two are going to be going for tag team titles. Oh, Mankind taking the arm. And take down. We do have DQ or KO on. Um, we might see a knockout. Who knows? Only I know. No, I don't really know. The Usos and Cena teaming up for the very first time. Take down by Man. Mankind. Mankind going to the outside. He's looking for the announce table. He wants to put Cena through the announce table. Putting Cena through the announce table would, would be a statement. It would be a very loud statement. Because it's up to you guys. You guys can still vote. If you haven't voted yet, you got to go over there now. TonyPizzaGuy.com. Again, the direct link is in the description. But you got to go over there. You got to vote. Please vote for who you want to be in the main event. Because it's all determined by you guys. Cyber Sunday. What a better pay-per-view than that. And takedown by Mankind. Headlock. And a takedown. Mankind in control. He hasn't tagged out yet. We are just going on to see where this is going to lead. I'm going to let this action play out. That is the best way to do it. You got to figure out who looks the best. Is it Mankind looking the best? 
Is it Big Show looking the best, or is it The Rock looking the best? And there's a busted open by the mankind. The mankind, yes. The mankind. Oh, he's looking for an Irish whip. Maybe trying to take him outside. Will we see a little bit of Cactus Jack come in? Oh, and he sends him to the outside. Mankind misses with the elbow drop. Pulls him up. Mankind throwing him in the announce table, but the rock's in the way. Oh, and Mankind almost went to the announce table. Oh, my. It's just turned into an all-out brawl. Big show. Throws him back into the ring. Mankind coming around the corner, coming in. Oh, and here we go. Mankind going back outside. Mick Foley is looking, 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 looking. He's looking for something. Mankind got the arm. He's looking at the announce table. He really does want to put him through that announce table. I don't know what the deal is. Oh, and John Cena with a throwback onto the face of Mankind. And Mankind throwing back into the ring. Oh, Mankind dodges it. He dodges the attack. We have Rock and Cena going at it. Oh, and Mankind. He's going to go outside again. I, I feel it. I have a feeling he's going to. Yes. Throws him back to the outside. Big Show picks him up by his giant fist. Big Show throwing him back in the ring. Mankind wants to take him out. Big Show has a different idea. Oh, Mankind following him out. He's just running. He is bloody, but he's trying to stay out of the way. Jay has him from behind. And now the Usos are going to double team on to Foley. Looking for a double suplex. Oh, and there we go. Take down. Foley. Looking for it. Sako. Sako. He's got the sock on. Oh, and he put it on the Jay Uso. Oh, Foley in control here. Foley looking. Neck breaker. Swinging neck breaker on the outside. They're just letting this action play out. And Mankind with the throw into the post. Jay tosses him back in the ring. Mankind coming back in. Oh, he's pulling Jay to the center. He's looking for a pin here. Foley could do it all himself. Here we go. One. No, one count by Mick Foley. I was going to say, if Foley was able to do this by himself, what a statement that would be. Oh, a DDT. Foley's looking Irish whip. Brings it back. Clothesline by Jay. On to Jay, not by Jay. Foley working on it. Looking like leg sweep, Russian leg sweep. Oh, Foley bringing him to the center of the ring. Foley's going to get the victory right here. One. One count by Mick Foley. Oh, and Jay punches the ref by mistake. Blood just covering his face. His face is just covered in blood. Oh, and here we go. Jay, Irish whip. Oh, he's taking him to the outside. That announce table. Remember, they both were out there. Oh, he just sent him out there so he could get a tag. But all of his partners have gone outside. He wanted a tag, but he couldn't get one because his partners left him. He runs to the outside to maybe catch his breath. And The Rock. The Rock has been tagged in. And Big Show throws Jey Uso back in there. What's The Rock doing with these stairs? The Rock's got something evil in store. Oh, and Jimmy, the fresh man coming in. Punched by the Rock. Rock, look at Rock Bottom out of Jimmy Uso. Rock Bottom out of nowhere. Oh, Jimmy in a bad way. No, not even a one count. The Rock Bottom may have caught him off surprise. Caught him by surprise and caught him off guard. Whatever I'm trying to say here. Rock looking for another pin. One. One count. The Rock only able to get a one count. Rock with the headlock. Looking for gut wrench. Gut wrench takes him down. 
Brock looking for it. Camel clutch. Oh, and it's broken up by his partner. Brock throws him. Oh, but he trips over the steps. He's holding that knee. He is in a bad way. Brock Spinebuster. Is it going to be the people's elbow? No, he's going to go for a pin off the Spinebuster. Maybe that was enough. One. One count. Jimmy goes behind. Headlock on the rock. Hurricane Rana onto the rock. Oh, rock with a kick. Get a rock bottom. Rock bottom. This is going to be it. No, only a one count. He is not down enough. Jimmy is not down enough. Rock looking neck breaker. Neck breaker by the Brima Bull. Rock really wants to get the victory here. Rock. One. One count. Not enough, Rock. You need to do another finisher. You need to do something. Maybe the people's elbow. Oh, reversal. Jimmy able to get a suplex on him. Kick. And a dragon whip. Leg screw. Something thingy. I can't even remember. I can never remember that name. Dragon screw leg whip. Rock. Looking sharpshooter for the Rock. Rock has got him in the sharpshooter. Oh, but it's broken up. By Cena. DDT. Here we go. Rock punches. Rock bottom. Oh, he takes him down. The Rock. Big Show's in the ring, making sure nobody breaks up the pin. But no. One, two, three. Rock is able to get the pin off the Rock bottom. So the Rock. Look strong in this one. The Rock, Mankind, and The Big Show are the winners in this. Mankind is happy. So is The Big Show. And there are the winners in this one. Are we going to have brand new champions at the pay-per-view? New WWE champion and... New tag team champion, maybe, just maybe, but we will find out come Cyber Sunday again. Get your votes in, link is in the description. Tony Pizza Guy, frag out.